just want to take you back a couple of years ago where we had uh, templates that we were using for building uh, HTML and CSS and JavaScript uh, websites. Uh, I remember picking a template like this one from uh, C uh, what, what was known as a freecss.com which is still available up to today. So what happens is that we would have all this um, but HTML throwing up and then you'd have to update this particular uh, posts that were coming in and then you would have to write extra HTML pages until we, we started writing on things like WordPress uh, and then other CMSs came along, Joomla and uh, think of any CMS that there is. Um, but I would be sh uh, I wouldn't be shocked today as um, as I am going to show you something. One of the things that kept on coming in my mind is couldn't we just write something whereby information would be updated automatically on its own? Uh, did I have to know how to do uh, make databases and make connections to my SQL and know how to do PHP? That was a little way before I had learned any PHP. And today it's actually possible with just a little bit of JavaScript. You should be able to have this information coming in and becoming um, as dynamic as possible. So I just want to show you something that I've worked on and something that I'm going to show you along the way of how to do. So right now what you see here, this page that you see here, is picking information from a blog that I have online. Um, this blog is uh, my personal blog right here, so you can see it's running on uh, WordPress and it's working actually okay, it's just a, a theme that I'm running on WordPress, but I wanted to test out an app using JavaScript and eventually I pulled all this information in and of course with a little bit of CSS, uh, thank goodness for CSS Grid, I've been able to do this simple uh, output here. And if I look at the page source of uh, this particular page, if I just go to page source info, uh, of course it's just HTML, um, but you can be able to see what's going on behind. There's a, a link here, metadata that can be changed. We have uh, the manifest or JSON file, and then of course we have the JavaScript coming in here that's uh, doing all the other things. So we don't have any information here and I've built this uh, basing it on React. So what React basically does is that it gives us a virtual DOM. So that's how we are able to have all this information. If I just inspect uh, one of these, you'll find that we have an H3 tag for the title. We have a div that's uh, throwing out all the, the, the paragraphs of the information, what would be like an excerpt. And then we have the image coming in through here that is all nested under an item. So the rest of the items are just similarly the same thing. Um, why don't you walk with me through this journey? I'm going to show you how we can actually make static websites become more dynamic with just JavaScript. Don't go away, stay on the channel. Um, if you like it, like this video like it, uh, share any questions and then we can start off uh, digging into um, static HTML sites and having it running with a, a backend of WordPress.